Living Local Carolina with Katie Turner. Local trends, shopping, dining, and more. This is Living Local Carolina. This portion of Living Local Carolina is sponsored by the Good Feet Store. Well, there's only one reason why I would not be wearing shoes, and that's because I'm at the Good Feet Store with Jessica. Thank welcome you so back. much for having me. Yes, welcome back. It's amazing to have you back. Oh my goodness. We actually, so the last time I was here, I wanted to be able to do this, and now we're making it happen. We are taking an impression of my foot. It's going to be a great experience for you. I'm so excited. So this is what would happen if you were to come to the Good Feet store and want to get this done so you can get fitted and get the right arch support. Correct. Mm -hmm. Walk me through the process. All right. So what we're going to do, Katie, is you already got your shoes off, so that's great. I'm going to have you take a natural step through this pad, OK? You're going to start with the left foot. So I'm just going to have you just step and walk right off. Perfect. Very good. All right. Art. <laughs> we have your feet here. Okay, we shall sit back down. Yes. So, we'll talk about what we're looking for when we take your foot impressions. So, everything we do here is based off of this ideal foot. So, there are a few key characteristics that we're looking for when we take your foot impressions. One is even shading from the top of the toes to the bottom of the heels. Okay, that lets me know that you evenly distribute your weight as you walk. We're looking for all five toes to be clearly defined and visible. That tells me that your foot is balanced. We want the inside of the second toe and the outside of the pinky toe to be in line with the inside and outside of the heel. Okay. That indicates whether you roll in or out as you walk. And then we want a nice strong C-shaped arch here. Okay, so what's the damage? You're <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it looks like you put a lot of pressure on your toes and on the balls of your feet. Okay. Um, which is fine because the supports are really going to make a big change in that. Okay. So are you ready to try them on? I'm ready to try them okay. on. Okay. We got a few things we need to do first. So we focus on total body wellness here. So there's three different supports. They do three different things. Mm. So this is called your strengthener. This is going to actually tighten and tone the muscles in the bottom of your feet. So it's like your feet are going to the gym and not your body. And you don't have to think about it, right. too, because you're wearing it throughout the day, Exactly, right? exactly. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have you keep your foot just how it was. Okay. And I'm going to size these to the bottom here. Now, we have another cool thing that we do for sizing, and it's called a balance technique. And this is where we check your balance. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Mm-hmm. One, two, three, press up. Okay. So not a lot of pressure, right? and we just kind of pulled you right to the front mm -hmm. of your feet. All right, I'm gonna have you put your hands behind your back just like this. One, two, three, press up. <laughs> I went <laughs> immediately to my heels. Okay, so I'm gonna have you step into your supports. I want you to put your heels right in that cup for me. There you go, perfect. Very wow. good. Okay. All right, hands to the back. Okay. One, two, three, press up. Wow. Very good. Oh my gosh. That really, I'm not kidding, that makes a huge difference. Yes. So having your feet in proper alignment gives you better strength and better stability. Hmm. That is a very important for our elderly population mm -hmm. because they have a tendency to be unstable and they have a tendency to fall. So these yeah. actually give you better strength and better stability. So what we're gonna have you do is just put these bad boys on. So. <laughs> I like the way it feels. Right, it should feel like an upside down spoon in the forward part of your arch. Yeah. So it's gonna be a big deal for you because you're very toe heavy. So now when you walk, you're gonna be walking heel to toe. Your toes are not doing any work right now. You're pretty tall, so we just made you a little bit taller. <laughs> your shoulders are backing down your spine. We're evenly distributing your weight. You should feel like there's no pressure in your heels, no pressure no. on the balls of your feet. Everything's wow. just kind of right there in the center. Now I see why y'all do this. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. that's too cool. Yeah. This has been so much fun. Yeah. Honestly, I think everybody should come in and get this experience just so you can see also what your issues with your feet are. How can people get in contact with you guys? Where are you located? You can call us here at the store, 1-800-NEW-FEET. Uh, you can schedule an appointment at goodfeet.com or you can just pop in and see us. We're right across the street from the Costco gas station on Seaboard Street. This portion of Living Local Carolina was sponsored by the Good Feet Store.
We'll be back right after this break with more Living Local Carolina. This story is sponsored by Seaside Furniture Gallery and Accents. Well, it is just a beautiful day here at Seaside Furniture Gallery and Accents, and I'm joined by Kent. Thanks so much for having me. Oh, thanks for coming out. I appreciate it. Oh my goodness, there's so much to see here. But for people that have never been here before, what, what are you guys all about? Coastal. We're about yeah. experience. We're about color. We're about just joy, honestly. People that come into our store, it's 30,000 square feet of living room, dining room, bedroom, uh, mattresses, outdoor, mm -hmm. um, everything you could think of for the home. We have it here at Seaside. Truly top to bottom. Top to bottom. Lighting to rugs yeah. to lamps and everything in between. Absolutely. And, you know, and we have people here that are you know, their, their average is 30 years in the business. So they know what they're talking about and they're here to assist you and help you along the way. It's not a high pressure type store. It's a store that you come in and enjoy yourself and we're here to help you. All right, let's dive a little deeper. You guys have mattresses as well. Yes, we do. Talk to me about that. All right, we carry Sealy, which has three brands to it. We have the Sealy Posturepedic, uh, we have Tempurpedic, and we have Stearns and Foster. And then we brought on a new mattress company called Restonic, which is um, a line that's kind of a mid-size in terms of price point, and it's just okay. wonderfully comfortable as well. And so the Property Brothers are part of that group too. We know that. So, yeah. So yeah, we're excited about our mattress line. Yeah, and I know you guys have a lot of different price points in terms of everything that you carry here. So whether you're looking to spend a little bit more or save a little money, you guys have something for everyone. Yeah, you know, budget seems to be the ugly word, but it is right. part of the process. And if mm -hmm. you come in with an idea of what you want to spend, we can help you out for sure, because we carry everything, like you said, from low to high and from quality that's questionable all the way up to really excellent quality. We've got uh, Maven, which is a new group that we brought in for uh, dining room sets and, and bedroom sets. It's solid wood and you can pick any color that you want, any wood species that you want. Ooh. And it's just a very beautiful high line uh, of product that we carry. But again, upholstery, same deal. We have low to high and we carry it all. This story is sponsored by Seaside Furniture Gallery and Accents. Thanks for joining us today on Living Local Carolina. Man, am I excited. Guys, in the studio today, I actually have a magician with me, Lion Flood. How are you doing? I'm well. I'm excited to be here and just to embrace all this positive energy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're all about positive energy on Living Local Carolina. But I want to know more about you. Okay. How did you get into magic in the first place? Ah, that is the age-old question. And to give mm -hmm. you the short answer, uh, so I'm a retired Marine veteran. Really? Yes. Thank you for and your service. Thank you. And I was injured and I was recouping in the hospital. I had about four knee surgeries and I couldn't move and so oh. I needed something to do. And I picked up a book and started reading and it made me smile. And I started learning magic tricks and eventually they would bring patients in to the room and I would do tricks for them, little card tricks. And then when I was able to be mobile in a wheelchair, they would wheel me to other patients' room and it kind of no snowballed. Way. Yeah. And I just picked up from that and just took off. What you got? All right. So I love using senses when I perform, right? So in this one, we're gonna use two senses, sight and sound. What I would like to do is attempt to place this coin inside the bottle, just like that. Ain't now, no way. <laughs> so and it's gonna happen very close up, right? And I'm gonna do it on the count of three. Okay. So watch. And I'm gonna do it slow so everyone can see it. One, two, you know, three days ago when I tried this <laughs> trick, <laughs> no, here we go. One, two, three. Now, how on earth did he just do that? <laughs> Y'all. And you can hold your hand off. I want you to verify that's an actual coin. It's. Dude. <laughs> yes. Okay, when I read that you're good at close-up magic, I wasn't actually quite sure what close-up magic was, oh. but like to actually be in front of it and yes. watch it happen, it's wild. Yes. That was crazy. And that's probably the That's difficult the best, to do. Yeah, it's, and it's probably the best thing I love about magic because stage magic and all that's great. The, you know, the smoke and yes. the mirrors and everything. But to be inches from it and yeah. to see it literally go from here to there. Love it's, it. it's 
indescribable sometimes. That emotion. Thank you. Thank you. I loved that. <laughs> oh, and I love magic too. We'll be back right after this break with more Living Local Carolina. Well, thanks so much for joining us today on Living Local Carolina. I love being in the studio, especially when I get to talk to authors. And I'm joined by Desiree Middleton. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. Awesome. Why don't you go ahead and tell our viewers your style of writing? So um, I've recently developed a new style of writing. Um, mm -hmm. I'm into urban fiction novels now. Um, I just released my second back in November of 2023, and it is a series called Married to the Enemy. Um, it's very exciting. It gives me so much excitement because I'm able to allow my imagination to just take over and run wild. Mm -hmm. um, and so those two books are very much full of plot twists, full of a lot of murder mystery if you're into that. Um, full of all of the things that you would probably see in a Tubi movie. <laughs> I love it. You're actually the first author that I've had in here that writes that sort of mystery genre, so that's really yes. interesting. Have you always been interested in this since you were a kid? I mean, you yes. started, you published your first book in 2019, right? Yes, so I published my first book in 2019, and um, it's called Finding the Beauty in Ugly Situations. And it's more so about my life, about myself, things that I had gone through and mm -hmm. how I still remained positive and um, was able to overcome those things. Um, and then after I wrote that book, I'm like, well, there's not much else I can write about myself. Not yet. <laughs> and so I was like, you know, I still wanted to write. I still wanted to release books. But I was like, what else can I write about? And I started following this author named Ashley Antoinette. And she writes these books, these like urban fiction books. And I read like three of her series in like a month. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wait a minute, I really, really like this. Like I can create some characters like this. And so I sat down one day and I started doing it and it was just coming just like that. Um, and I think the best part about it is that you can make up people. You can make yeah. your characters do what you want them to do, how you want them to do it, whatever direction you want them to go. Like my imagination just, takes over. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. So when you talk about twists, it, can you give me an example or is that giving too much away? No, yeah, I can absolutely give you an example. Um, so the crazy thing about the first book that I wrote, um, urban fiction that I wrote, Married to the Enemy, when I wrote that book, I was going through a divorce myself. Oh. So, so many people were interested in the book because they thought it was a tell-all about my marriage. <laughs> <laughs> so the, I had, I mean, eyes were on it before the book was even completed. Mm -hmm. um, and so when I first released it, the book sold about 250 copies within the first two weeks and wow. that was a goal for me That's one awesome. that I didn't think I was going to achieve because I was like wow and it was because you know everybody wanted to know what is she going to talk about in this mm -hmm. book and then I think when they actually read it and realized it had nothing to do with me or my marriage it was more like oh wait a minute but it's still a good book um, so one of the plot twists um, in the book the series um, in the first book Melody is the main character she's a young lawyer who is trying to find herself and trying to find her way. She meets a man, she falls in love, gets married. Um, but in the second book, we find that Melody's perfect husband might just be the enemy. Mm, <laughs> we'll leave it at that, folks. <laughs> but you are now working on another book with your daughters. Yes. Where can people stay updated on this sort of thing? So I am on all social media. I am on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, all under at Author D. And then I also have my website, which is www.authordesiree.com. Um, and I pretty much post every day literally wow, <laughs> on all <okay>. sites. <laughs> um, so I'm pretty active on social media. So I normally um, try to keep people updated as to what I have going on through my social media sites. Um, I actually just launched my online bookstore. Um, and so of course I'm gonna be selling my books through the bookstore, awesome. but um, I'm also gonna be including other authors' pieces and works through the bookstore as well. All right, thank you so much for joining us <laughs> thank today. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Guys, if you want to check out some of her books, where's that website that people can find again? It's www.authordesiree.com.
Don't forget to like our page on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. How to use the QR code. Just open the camera app on your smartphone, iPad, or tablet. Point your device at the QR code so the QR code appears on your screen. Your device will recognize the QR code and show you a notification. Click that notification and you'll come to our website. Living Local Carolina, weekday mornings at 9.30 on WBTW News 13.